Tonight, we're looking closer at the affordable housing issue. People fighting to stay in their homes, pushing up against the high rents and wages that just can't keep up. The number of Coloradans are on the cusp of losing their home truly is unbelievable. Nearly 172,000 people in Colorado. They're not making enough money to afford the home they are in right now. Despite Colorado's booming economy, public schools are still struggling. Colorado teachers rank 46 in the country for pay. We're also well below the national average for per student spending. If you're a parent struggling to find child care, you are well aware there is a critical shortage. We have a massive shortage of providers in some of the highest costs in the country. One third of foster care youth who age out of the system will experience homelessness. Half of them will end up in jail. It is such a difficult transition for many of these kids. It doesn't take much. It takes an unexpected bill, loss of a paycheck, and really any small interruption to your income. You know, I, 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 I can't like that. Yes, it is Today, Project Homeless Connect teamed up with Mile High United Way to bring more than 100 services under one roof, all free of charge for the homeless. Kids growing up in foster care often find themselves up against an edge. That's why the United Way created the Bridging the Gap program, providing coaches and resources to help them get to the other side. Whether you need help paying for rent, your utility bill, or buying groceries, 211 will point you in the right direction to get the financial assistance you are looking for. Colorado is a unique place where we do come together and we have each other's backs in times of need. Nearly 4,000 volunteers came together for Colorado this morning. I joined the team of volunteers at Mile High United Way making blankets for newborns in need. 